Good morning everyone, my name is Vessel and today we are hiking further down the Peter Park. Now today we are hiking from Ruthwijk to Kerk, which would have been about 14 kilometers, so not a very long uh, hike today. Um, but our previous bed and breakfast was about 3 kilometers away from the, from the route and uh, the camping where we stay next night is about two and a half kilometers further so in total we will be hiking around 19 to 20 kilometers today and we are immediately starting off in the Goose Bay to Bot or Goose Bay now this forest uh, is located in Bolster uh, literally means Wolf Mountain. But honestly, it is barely even it's a hill. Uh, also, here in this forest, uh, the last wolf of the Netherlands has been shot in 1822. But in recent years, the wolves have returned to the Netherlands. I've only seen one once uh, in the wild and from quite a distance seeing a wolf in the wild especially if you're not uh, if you don't expect it that's quite a nice experience anyway we will continue to Hannah and I will show you guys when I see anything interesting Zevendal, or the Seven Dale, uh, is a dale made from uh, molten glaciers in the uh, well, second block, I think. So this dale is about 150,000 years old, which means that not much is left of it. But I do notice that many of these hills in the Netherlands are formed due to the ice age. That is actually quite odd, but it is, uh, it is understandable because the glaciers from the ice age generally reach somewhere to around here. Also, right as we cross this turn, we are now in the province of Limburg. So, only one province along the route that we haven't been yet, and that is North Brabant. Uh, North Brabant is only a very short uh, part of the route, and after that we will cross into Limburg again. But for now, we are in Limburg. Just a little bit past the Zevendal, we reach the Sint Jansberg. Sint Jansberg is a small group of hills near the German border, with the highest point being uh, 77 meters uh, high. Uh, through the area of the Sint Jansberg, uh, run a few streams and little lake, and these. Uh, streams end in the Moker Plus, which then empty into the river Meuse. Just before Hennep, we find the Penneper House, House of Hennep. 
Now, uh, it isn't much anymore, but this castle already stood during the age of the Romans. And for centuries, it was an untakeable fortress until it was finally blown up in uh, 1674 and completely destroyed by the French in 1712. Now, uh, currently, there should be a watchtower somewhere around, the, around here, on the same spot as where one stood during the Roman time. So, I'm gonna try to find that, and I'm gonna climb it, if, of course, I am allowed to climb it. So, on top of the viewpoint, we have quite a few over the river Meuse. But this isn't the only thing that, that you can see. For example, over in that direction, in the distance, you can find a monastery. The Monastery St. Agatha. Also, you can find this uh, derelict stone factory. Or at least, I think it's derelict, since it doesn't have a roof anymore. Uh, and over there we have the direction from which we came. Now, first, or at least the closest, is the village of Mills Bay. And a little further, well, I don't know if you can properly see it through the trees, but a little further in the distance is the St. Jansberg. Very beautiful place. Now, back to the south, uh, we can't see much of where we are going because of the trees. But over in that direction, you can see a church steeple. That's kind of That's where we are going today. Anyway, let's continue. So we have reached the camp. Today's final minute. So that means we're going to wrap up here. So stay safe, stay healthy, and I will see you all next time.